The gang starts off their latest game with John, who plays a tapped Savai Trial. Then Tom plays a tapped Underground Cemetery, surveilling to the graveyard. Extra plays a Rejuvenating Springs, and casts his commander, Tamiyo, Inquisitive Student. While Sam ends the first turn cycle with a smoldering marsh tapped. The real game now begins, with John playing a Spire Garden and casting a Talisman of Dominance. He passes to Tom. Tom plays a lush portico and decides to let it come in tapped, surveilling a card to the top. Extra plays an island, casts Erwald the Illuminator, and attacks John with Timio. Timio triggers, making two clues, before giving the turn over to Sam. Sam plays a woodland cemetery and casts a nature's lore, getting a top commercial district which surveils a card to the graveyard. After that, he passes. John plays a training center, then casts Herald of Kozilek, reducing the cost of his future spell. Tom also sets up for the future by playing Caves of Koilos and the Ramanap Excavator, before passing the extra. Extra plays a Yabimaya Coast, casts Wildwood Mentor, and again attacks John with Timio, triggering her effect to make two clues and have Mentor gain two counters. He then passes the turn. Sam plays a Deathcap Glade and casts his commander, Corrin, the Undertaker, then hands it back to John. On his turn, John plays a Vault of Champions then taps out for his commander, Ululet, use the atrocity. Tom first cast, Tireless Provisioner, then plays a Branch Loft Pathway, triggering Provisioner to make a treasure. He casts Exploration, followed by a Dark Lord Pathway from his graveyard, triggering Provisioner a second time, before passing the turn. Extra first cast, Case of the Filched Falcon, making two clues, Triggering Mentor to gain two counters. He then far seeks for a breeding pool, followed by a tap hedge maze, surveilling to the graveyard. He goes to combat, where he is met by Tom sorts the plowshares on Mentor. Once resolved, extra attacks with Demio at John, making another clue and passing the turn, solving his case on end of turn. Sam goes to combat attacking Extra with Corum, triggering his effect to have everyone mill one. In his second main, he plays a forest from Tom's graveyard and casts both out of the tombs and perpetual timepiece. Before passing the turn back to John, John plays the soul for his springs and casts Kozilek's -like Predator, triggering Ululek to copy it, making a total of two Predators and four Eldrazi spawns. After everything enters, John attacks Sam with Ulek plus Herald and passes. Tom first casts his commander, the Necrobloom, then ramps with rampant growth into a plains, triggering a Necrobloom to make a plant and Provisioner to make a treasure. He then sends Provisioner an extra and ramming up at Sam before passing the turn. Extra plays a forest, followed by Ulawald Mysteries, and then attack with Tamiyo at John, triggering her effect to make two clues. He then passes, with Sam milling two on his end step with Timepiece. On Sam's upkeep, Tomb triggers, adding two counters and milling two. He activates Timepiece to mill two, then once again attacks Extra with Corum, triggering his effect to mill one. In his second main, he plays a Vault of Champions from Tom's Graveyard, followed by Old Stick Fingers for X equals 4, partially forgetting how it actually works. After the cards are milled, he passes back to John. John plays a Sanctum of Ugin for turn, then casts Spawn Gang Commander, copying it with Ululek and making a total of 6 spawns. He then casts Mockery of Nature, Sacrificing Spawn Gang to emerge, again copying with Ululek, Exiling Tomb and Mysteries, 
while also sacrificing Sanctum to go get Decimator of Providence. Lastly, he attacks extra with both his predators and passes. Tomcast Lumra, Bellow of the Woods, Milling Four, and Returning Isolated Chapel. This triggers Necro Bloom, making a zombie, and Provisioner, making another treasure. He plays a Brushland, again triggering Necro Bloom at Provisioner, before passing the turn. Extra plays an Island, and casts Cyber Drive Awakener turning all his clues into 4 fours. Trying to prevent John's win, he sends all of his clues at him, leaving him at a measly 4 life. Extra then passes, hoping someone can finish the job. Sam first activates Timepiece to mill 2, then casts Feed the Swarm on Ulala, preventing him from duplicating any more Eldrazi. Next is an attack with Quorum on, you guessed it, Extra. Quorum triggers, making each player mill one. In his second main, he plays Sam's Island and casts Red and Seven, using his minus three to make a tree folk and pass the turn back to John. John plays a Ketria Triumph tapped and recasts his commander, Ulalek, fused atrocity. He follows it up with a double mockery attack at extra before yet again losing Ulrich, this time to Tom's end of turn, anguished unmaking. Tom casts Case of the Locked Hothouse and attacks John with Lumra, which is jumped by a spawn. With nothing else to do, he passes and solves Hothouse. Extra plays a forest for turn, then goes to combat, attacking John with Timio and Cyber Drive. Timio triggers, making two clues, followed by John, having his danger senses tingling, and sacrificing a total of six spawns to the 4 the Cyber Drive. In his second main, he casts Min, Wily Illusionist, and sacrifices a clue to draw, turning Min to make an illusion, before passing the turn. Sam starts his turn with a red uptick, adding two lengths then casts Screeching Scorch Beast from his graveyard, followed by an all-out attack at John, triggering Quorum to mill one, and Scorch Beast to make three zombies. Trying to keep himself alive, John chumps with both his predators and spawn gang. Then in his second main, Sam plays a rootbound crag and passes the turn back to John. John plays an Eldrazi Temple for turn, and casts Eldrazi Sky Spawner, which makes a Scion. Next is a second recast of Ulek and the pass, at which point Sam jumps in and casts Assassin's Trophy on Hothouse, giving Tom a Swamp, turning Necroplume and Provisioner, before letting him go to his turn. Tom plays a tapped Overgrown Tomb, triggering Necroplume and Provisioner, Followed by a snow-covered forest from his graveyard, again triggering both creatures. He then attacks John with Lumra, this time getting a mockery for the trouble. After that, he passes and extra sacrifices a clue on end step before going to his turn. Extra plays an island and casts Arctic's anew twin casters. Followed by World Waker's Helm. He attacks John with Tamiyo, triggering her effect to make a total of 4 clues and 2 maps. After that, he sacrifices a clue to draw, triggering Min to make 2 illusions thanks to Adrix. He then passes, with Sam milling 2 on his end step with Timepiece, triggering Scorch Beast to make a zombie. Sam again starts with a Ren uptick, adding 2 lands and triggering Scorch Beast to make two zombies. He then casts Sir Conrad the Grim from his graveyard, and goes to combat, sending Scorch Beast to John, while the rest go at extra. Horem then triggers, milling one, and both John and extra die, due to Brawn in his graveyard, giving all his creatures trample. Once that's done, Sam passes. Tom plays a fabled passage, triggering landfall, then sacrifices it 
getting a snow-covered plains, again triggering landfall. He repeats this once more, this time getting a snow-covered swamp, before attacking Sam with Lumra, having it be blocked by a zombie, throwing Conrad the deal one. Tom then passes, and on end of turn, Sam activates Timepiece to mill two, triggering Scorch Beast to make two zombies, followed by a Conrad activation, milling one, and dealing one with Conrad. Sam once again uses Ren's plus one, adding zero lands this time, before sending his army at Tom, who dies due to Lord of Extinction hiding in Sam's graveyard, giving Koram more than enough power to seal the deal and claim victory.